subscribe the channel if you want my videos in your mail Hi everyone, good evening, you are welcome back to Meet Business Analyst channel. Today our concept is how to set up cross validation rule in Oracle General Ledger. So without further delay, let us get into the application. So before going to uh, you know do the all required setup, first let us discuss what is cross validation rule. The, see our uh, thing is uh, while doing any transactions, uh, let us suppose creation of any inventory transaction or you are doing any general entry, you can select the account combination dynamically. So, if you are creating any dynamically, all cash related uh, transactions usually do by finance team. So, when uh, there is a finance department and uh, cash account, these combinations exist, then the account need to get create else there should be some error message that uh, the combinations uh, you know not allowed for you like that uh, you know uh, users will get restricted only finance team will do by cash transactions remaining team let's suppose uh, purchasing department will do by uh, you know purchasing of raw material uh, etc so that raw material account combination uh, only do by purchasing department so such a way you can restrict uh, your users to uh, to uh, uh, you know uh, wrongly select account combinations so this way it will really help uh, business when uh, the charts of accounts uh, you have selected uh, allow in such dynamic uh, enabled okay so uh, before getting into creation of any general let us discuss about the status of uh, you know period See mainly we have four status open, future entry, closed and finally closed or permanently closed. When it is open you can create general entries and you can post the general entries. If it is future entry you can able to create the general entries but you cannot post the general entry. When you when it is closed you cannot post and create any general entry. But if you want to do any changes in that particular period, you can reopen the period and you can do the required changes. If the period is permanently closed, then you cannot do any changes to the general ledger in that particular period. Alright, so hope you understand uh, the status of jail period. Now, let me take an example. I am going to journal, enter. So new journal so I am going to give here some example cross validation test just like just like that I am giving as a general entry name then I am coming down so I am providing here uh, this account I have given these are the defaulting values how I have given I will show you in my another uh, video let's suppose purchasing department procuring the raw material let's suppose or we don't have raw material account yet okay we have a couple of material mm. let's suppose procurement department purchasing the maintenance material so for some 2000 rupees closely and uh, and the payment should do by finance department but here wrongly user selected as purchasing department so 
you select ok system will create this combination also so you don't want to make user to create these combinations since all cash payments usually do by the finance department so you can restrict uh, how how you can restrict is we are going to see in this video okay right so first and foremost setup is your charts of account setup it is nothing but your key flexi field go to setup financials flexi field key segments so search for your accounting flexi field so it is part of your uh, ledger creation so hence you already create a chart of account combination simply select this and search for your particular chart of account so before going to make any changes you simply uncheck the freeze flex field definition checkbox since i have open already so that is why it is restricting yeah i have open already let me close okay yeah I, it, it is allowing freeze flex field definition now you can see here cross validate segments you need to check this checkbox this is the one setup the second setup is in segments open you need to make security enable this is not allowing you to select security enable the reason behind is in your value set you have not selected security type you have selected no security so that is why the checkbox is not allowing you to check what you need to do you can go ahead and select any one of the security non hierarchical see i have saved now this time system will allow me to check this checkbox okay let me select hierarchical security okay company a constant value so what is the mistake which i made it let me save it value set hierarchical security or non hierarchical security okay so it is running the program it is compiling so you can see compile value set hierarchy it is running that program let it get complete normally so what we need to do we need to do for all the value sets whatever value set we have we need to make it uh, you know uh, hierarchy type non hierarchical i am selecting here for all i am selecting non hierarchical already select now i have come okay all are now i have come so let the program get complete and we'll get back and uh, you know we can select this default i know security enable checkbox we will wait for some time and we'll see so i am again freezing flexible definition and i will compile and uh, we'll see we'll wait for some time and we will uh, and freeze again we will try let the program get complete okay the program has been completed normally we will try one more time so why it is not allowing so that's not so i am unfreezing again okay going to segments so going to open security enable no it is not allowing so let me check the reason behind so let me create the cross validation rule and i will try whether it will work or not so i am freezing again 
Here we have security, not security, rules. Okay, this is the place where you can define class validation rule. What is the application? General ledger. What is the accounting flexi field? Our accounting flexi field. Okay, so this is my accounting flexi field. What is the name? So here I am giving some name Samsung Cross Validation Wall. Here, what is the error message I would like to display? This combination not allowed. Okay. We come back here and include. Include everything. First thing is include all the combinations. So, I am including all the combinations and including all the departments. So, including everything. So, if you want, you can keep directly. Check, 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 check. Okay, I have included everything. Now, what you want to exclude? So, I want to exclude which department you want to exclude. Let's suppose Samsung Mobile. I don't want to. This is the main. I uh, don't department. What is my department? Finance department. Not finance department. Should be purchase department. Purchasing department and I am giving the same combination here. What is the account you want to respect? Cash account. Okay. I am excluding this particular account. Okay. Now hit save. It got saved. Now let me try one more time whether it will allow me or not the cross validation group. The security enabled segments general ledger account and the field sam and phrasing segments open security manager. yes this time after defining your cross validation role system is allowing you to check this checkbox okay Okay, since this three required, so we have successfully did all required setups. Now we will see our test working or not. Okay, so I'm going to journal, enter, new journal, give the journal name. Cross valid test. So I am giving the same in description as well. And in combination, I am coming here and uh, try to give the combination. What is our combination? 100 dot 300 3000. So here I am selecting the cash account. the combination not allowed whatever error message we have selected it is showing here hence our testing has been working as expected so this way you can set up a cross validation rule so and it will restrict the a particular Daddy. combination to select Mommy. so thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel share the videos with your friends and uh, Thank you.